Hi, and uh, thank you for your interest in the Little Princess Trust. Uh, my name is Phil, and I work at the charity here in Hereford. Uh, this is Kim. Hello. Uh, and Kim's been with the charity, oh, how long have you been with us now, Kim? Uh, one year and two days. And I should have known that. Um, <laughs> so what we do here is we provide wigs for children, young people who've lost their hair due to cancer treatment and other conditions, things like alopecia, trichotillomania. Um, so that's why the charity was set up. The charity was first set up in 2005, 2006, uh, when Wendy, our founder, lost her daughter, Hannah. Um, still today, the same objective then of providing wigs is what we do. And now we find ourselves in a situation where we're providing 2,000 wigs per year now into the UK, and we're also providing wigs overseas. But we're also a research charity now. So in 2016, 2017, we started funding research. And we're now one of the largest and most significant funders of childhood cancer research in the UK. So I think it's something that Hereford should be very proud of. We're very, very proud of what we do and what we achieve. We've now provided 14,000 wigs in total. And bizarrely, or astonishingly, we find ourselves as the largest wig charity in the world. Um, and we're here in Hereford. And we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the local community. Uh, and that's something I wanted to talk about really, is that it was that community that supported Wendy and Simon when they lost Hannah back in 2005. And literally the charity would never have started without Hereford, but that local support that was given then and is still given to us now. And as I say, we, we want Hereford to be really proud of what's been achieved because it would not have happened if it wasn't for the good people of this county. Um, so we also wanted to talk about values and culture. Yes. Now, I could talk for a long time about values and culture, but perhaps I'm not the best person to do it. Uh, um, Kim's been here, as she says, for 14 months now. So what's it like? So it's um, we're always, always incredibly positive in the way that we portray our charity. Um, so everything we do is positive. It's what we the service that we provide is is a really good service it helps people um, and so that's how we portray ourselves and again i find that when i'm dealing with people the support that we get locally nationally internationally is outstanding people are so lovely and want to help and they can by mm -hmm. donating their hair. i think values have helped tremendously because of our purpose what we do um, you know, we provide these wigs. The reason we provide the wigs is because within the NHS framework at the moment, that's, that service isn't available. You might get a voucher for £200, but our wigs, if you were to buy them, they'd be £2,500. But we provide these free of charge and we do it as simplistically as possible. So we don't want people to have to jump through hoops. We want it to be a really simple process. I think everybody working with the charity, they know our purpose and we're yeah. all so focused on that. Yeah. It gives us that drive and energy and enthusiasm to achieve our objectives. But I think the values, we always said Wendy could have written the values yeah. 17 years ago and they'd be the same today. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and I just think it comes naturally to have this, this upbeat, positive tone in everything that we do. Yeah, and also obviously to say thank you that was one of Wendy's really important values when she started out. So, um, you know, we always say thank you to everybody who helps and supports us. It's very important. Yeah, yeah and on that seamless link, thank you very thank much. Thank you.